If this hadn't broken, we would actually have a clapboard. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Perfect. I spent twenty dollars on this on Amazon and it broke immediately. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the 116th episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad Show. We watch terrible movies and tell you if you should too. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Chilgo, joined once again, Mr. Kyle. Hyde. Kyle, last week we talked about a Seagal classic, yes. The Glimmer Man. This was completely obscure to me. I've never even I had, heard of this. I movie. had never heard of this movie. This was a patron recommendation. Somebody messaged us on Patreon, um, which is one of the way one of the things I'll go through when I'm trying to find a movie is I'll, I tend to go to Patreon first because they're yeah. paying us, obviously, yeah. um, and then also all the ones people send in. But uh, uh, so this was a patron recommendation. Yes. And I found that it was on Tubi for free. Yes. You can watch it. It's wild. It's fucking wild. <laughs> this movie is wild. This movie is called Deadbeat at Dawn. This is the Warriors on crack. Yes, on acid. This movie's fucking bonkers. <laughs> this is a. This is a. And supposedly, it sounds like this was a, a kid. That, so this is written and stars and directed by. And Jim, I don't. Jim Van Bieber. Jim Van Bieber, and he's he's the main character, and he mm-hmm. wrote and directed it. I believe the me- Patreon message said that the, the, this person was like in film school and basically dropped out to make this movie. Like this was like, they're like, I'm going to, well, here's the crazy thing for some people that's worked. Yeah. And here's the thing that's crazy about this movie. It's ridiculous and terrible. You're on our turf scum. Fuck. Come on goose. You're not stupid. You fire that and you've got the man here. But it but has there's, there's part of it there's parts of it that have a certain thing. Yes, there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a vision to this movie yeah. that is at least interesting. This isn't like just complete sh- terrible shit. Like there is some um, artistic thought put mm-hmm. in to the movie. I wanted Goose dead, but he's still alive. When are you gonna hit him? Tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> And it doesn't always work, yeah. and it's really yeah. goofy sometimes. But it's also you get what they I, were going I, and for. And I think this guy had a good he had a good setup and a good like hooking point. But then he just didn't know what to do with the middle part. Yeah, and then he ended it. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it's it's also suffers from it. It feels like it was written by like a thirteen year old. Yeah, at times. Absolutely. We'll get that. we'll get Absolutely. to some of those elements. Uh, the tagline for this movie is he quit the gangs. They killed his girl. He became deadbeat at dawn, which is such a weird deadbeat at dawn. What does that have? That doesn't mean. Okay, great. Uh, So we open up the movie with a girl at a psychic. Yes. And we get some cool opening, like psychedelic opening. Yeah, like, yeah, like kaleidoscope stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then we jump into a, a girl with a psychic. And, and the psychic, I don't remember what the psychic says to her. But she then goes home and is immediately grabbed and assaulted by some dude. Yeah. And this is the bad guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. Danny. I Danny, think. yes. Stupid. What a pleasant surprise. Get the hell away from me. Come on, I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. Let me go. And he, and he, and he, he grabs her and is like assaulting her in this car. And then a cop shows up in the world's cheapest cop costume yeah. that they got at yeah. fucking Party City or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Looks incredible. Just giving the wife a little kiss, officer. You get out of the car, sir. Uh, but she's she's she knows Danny there. So the, this is like a whole weird situation where it's be, her she's the girlfriend of. Um, deadbeat at dawn what is his name i i got it goose goose uh she's the girlfriend of goose and so she's she knows all these people from these different Mm. gangs and that sort of thing and she doesn't want any trouble so she just like lets the guy leave she's like no we're fine and she like runs off and runs away you okay i'm fine now look here it's fine to me and then we also we jump immediately The, the the editing in this movie is so frenetic and like 
at times I think it's on purpose, yeah. but at other times yeah. it's like we well, clearly like, didn't have We get have to like the... a preparation scene for battle. Like we're, we're or for, for Goose, like he's immediately jumped to him getting ready. Oh, right? well, I, this first scene is we jump to Danny who was just on the street. We then cut immediately to him at like an adult movie theater with like his actual girlfriend. And oh, he right. threatens to like squeeze her <laughs> yeah. head until her eyes pop out. Or... Yeah, what? If you ever do that again, I'm going to pull your eyeballs out of your head and eat them. Or rip her eyes out and eat them or so. We're trying to establish that Danny's a fucking bad guy, yeah. like a real, real, real bad guy. Which I will say for this film, everybody is kind of a bad guy. So. Yes, they're all bad people. And yeah. it, there's also this really uncomfortable close up at, at this of him just chewing gum oh, for like. And his mustache. Yeah. <laughs> so so then yeah, we gear up for the big fight. Immediately we're getting into like a, a rumble in the yeah. jungle. But like the beginning of the beginning of it felt so taxi driver, it was painful. Like we were just watching Travis Bickle, right? Yeah. Is that his name? It, we're just watching him like prepare to assassinate yeah. whatever dude was but running for president. The, this is where I wasn't um prepared for what this movie was, is that they show up to this fight in a cemetery. Yes. And they're all dressed like like fucking post apocalyptic. Like, yeah, you know, this it reminded me of She to a certain degree. A little bit, yes. Yeah, where they're just like random shit. Yeah. They're, it's like the Warriors, I think, is what they're mm -hmm. going for, where the gangs have like costumes or something. Yeah, and, and John, uh, Johnny, why do I keep, why do I want to say his name? Goose's gang is named the Ravens. The Ravens. And the, his rival gang is the Spiders. The spiders. <laughs> Danny and the spiders are moving on us. We can cut them off at the cemetery if we hurry. I'll go tell the rest of the Ravens. And they're wearing full-on costumes, and he has a rifle. <laughs> he's carrying yeah. a rifle, yeah. and he's wearing a Zorro mask. <laughs> and Danny has, like, a fucking Batman mask yeah. on. What is, going what is on? happening, man? And they're, like, they're like taped on. These yes. Masks. Yeah. They literally taped the masks onto With their like face. like electrical tape. <laughs> yes. It's so weird. Uh, and I, there's some great dialogue throughout the film. One of these lines here, he's like, "You're on our turf, scum fuck." You're on our turf, scum fuck. <laughs> it's so good. But they get into an amazing fight. They got like oh my the God. brass knuckled knife combo yeah. going. They get into a sweet knife fight and they start slashing each other. And we get some sweet prosthetic work where we see like oh. blood spraying and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> And I love they keep cutting the reactions of this are great. There's like 80 yard in like, uh, uh, like these over the top <laughs> reactions. <laughs> and they keep cutting back. So his girlfriend is there watching yeah. this. And she's getting really turned she on. Looks, way. <laughs> yeah, she looks, yes, she is like rearing to go watching him stab. <laughs> Oh, 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 and which makes no sense with For later, later yeah. because immediately the next scene she's like you gotta leave this gang life I don't like it sure sometimes I wish things were different you know but they ain't and we can't change anything you can change if you really wanted to you, in the last scene she was literally like about to just explode with passion watching him <laughs> murder a guy with a knife i was like what is so fucking weird um <coughs> goose is winning and then something happens the cops start showing yeah, the up cops show up this moment is incredible there's a guy the, on the ground reaching he, for a gun he's yes. got a gun and uh, yeah. so he's gonna shoot goose but goose pulls out a gun and blows off most of his hands blows his fucking hand off it's incredible <laughs> It's fucking incredible. It just explodes. And I love the camera work. We get all these over the top push in, like jump push ins to people, like reactions and stuff. Get up, man. And there's like random cuts to statues because, again, this guy thinks he's an artist. And so he's like, look, look in this in this cemetery as we. As we, the the, uh, the mortals, uh, snuff out each other's lives, the angels look on. <laughs> like, it's that kind of bullshit. Like, there's no way that's it's, not... It is Picard. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's fucking incredible. We are but mortal vessels slowly dying, and this is the manifestation of such. <laughs> 
I, I appreciate that they actually are like, holy shit, this guy is actually injured. Yeah. And they like, actually have to sew up his hand. Yeah, oh, that's right. Pour she, alcohol yeah. into it. Yeah, she does sew the shit. Uh, yeah, sew up with this big gash on his hand. Um, but it's like fine the next day. Yeah. He's like, wakes up. He's like, no, it's good. I'm it's good. All good. Now. Yep. Uh, but uh, she's, she's doing she's magic. Do, yeah, she's doing like seance magic stuff. And she's, she's like, here, wear this, wear this item. What's all this stuff? Something for you to keep you safe. Come on, Christy. Goose, can you wear this for me? I'm not wearing any of your voodoo magic around my neck, all right? And it's it got will a protect necklace, you. Yeah, that she thinks will protect him or whatever. Um, and he's like, I don't need that. I got cocaine, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't need a witch routine to take care of him. Goose, why don't you just give it up? I gotta go tell the rest of the gang that I'm out because I love you, babe, and you're just flopping on me and we, you're flip flopping. Yeah. You want me to kill people? Last scene, you want you wanted to fuck me because I murdered that guy. Now, now you don't you, want me so, to. I don't know what's going you on. You know here. what? I love you, so I'm gonna leave the gang. Yeah, and that's the thing that's gonna happen. Yeah, I love. Well, this isn't yet, but this is first. He needs to go clear his mind or whatever. He needs to go like he 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 puts on some pants. We get to see his sweet ass. But then as he's walking out, it's my favorite thing. He's walking out. He's like storming out angrily, and he pulls nunchucks off. The oh wall. my god! <laughs> and then storms out with his nunchucks and I was like oh whenever he puts god. on like the bandana and everything he's doing nunchucks out in the, oh like, my god the woods. that's the scene he goes to the cemetery yeah and he's literally it is reminding me of like uh the the guy uh, uh what it reminded me of was uh Napoleon Dynamite's brother yes yeah yeah <laughs> just he not goes a, not quite as nerdy yeah he goes to the cemetery he's like doing tai chi and then he gets his nunchucks out and he's like swinging his nunchucks around and he's like throwing ninja stars and like kunai knives yeah he's stuff. like kicking branches on trees <laughs> it, it, like, what was the the fucking uh, the British um um f oh, man it's or no it was the one where the guy goes into the woods and red it, something yeah, yeah yeah red whatever uh, or something like that it reminded me of that one where red he's like can red canopy red canopy where he's yeah. like beating trees with yeah. his wood <laughs> <laughs> swords or whatever. <laughs> 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 He's just like kicking trees and shit. Um, and this is some, this is what I was talking about with some serious, like a 13 year older wrote this. It was like, I'm going to go to the cemetery. God, and God I got so much angst. Oh, oh, skills. Oh, so awful. You I don't got... understand my pain. <laughs> it's like fucking amazing. I love it so much. He pulls a knife out of his pants and just hooks it at a tree. Yeah. He's it's amazing. And then he gets really angry and he like moodily slams his nunchucks on the ground. He's like, oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> And then I don't even know what he's screaming at. He throws his nunchucks and then he turns to like the city and he screams, you motherfuckers. And I'm like, what are what? you yelling at? You motherfuckers. I was like, maybe society. Is this like a, again, like an art moment in this movie? But like, he's like super angsty. Yeah. Uh, and then this scene might be, I, I had to pause the movie. I was laughing so hard at this moment. After that, he screams, you motherfuckers. And then it cuts to a big high shot of a guy riding up on a motorcycle and parking it. Um, like oh, in a driveway. Right. Oh this scene God. is fucking... I what the, lost what it laughing. What happened here? I lost it guy laughing. guy gets off the motorcycle. Is standing there. And Goose just walks up. Runs up. And, and yells, nunchucks him. Yells, you fuck! And hits him in the head with a nunchuck. And, and he steals his bike. Hey, fuck. And I was like, what was this scene? Wh who was that person? What did it, what was any of this? I had to stop, pause, and because I was laughing so hard when he yells, you fuck, and then hits him in the head with a nunchuck one time. Punk. <laughs> I was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh, I loved it so much. Hey, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Um, but then he rides his motorcycle home, and this is where he gets into a big argument with uh, the girlfriend again mm -hmm. about how she wants him to leave. And I was like, this is basically just marriage story. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. the, the scene is just marriage story. It has all the uh, the angst and uh, fucking faux um, <laughs> drama. I can't believe 
believe I have to know you forever! Oh, you're fucking insane! Look, I got some motorcycles. Why don't you grab some crack and... Oh, that's beautiful. Why don't you just break all of them? Why are you such a fuck-up? Who are you calling a fuck-up? You, goddammit! <laughs> but... He agrees. He's got like one more deal to do or whatever, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that's, so, that's so he's, correct. It's like the next day he's going out to do this deal and he says, Babe, I'm going to lock the door behind me. I'll lock the door. Okay. Yes. He locks her into this room with it's a, a master padlock. lock. Yeah. She literally cannot leave. Yes. She is locked into the apartment or whatever. And they look like they live in what like a fuck. the fuck? They look like they live in a fucking, uh, like, storage facility. I yeah. don't even know what this is. It's fucking wild. Also, we see the in, in the interior of, Danny, of Goose's apartment. They have two TVs yeah. stacked on top of each other, both of them showing static. I don't know what... What the fuck was going on there? Because they, they need to show you, like, oh man, look at the urban decay yeah. where they live. Yeah, that is what they're going for. A lot of this, it, this movie makes me made, made me feel dirty the whole time. Like <laughs> yeah. everywhere he goes is a dirtier location oh than the God. previous yeah. one. <laughs> it's just, Jeez. Ugh, it's terrifying. Um, so then we get introduced to Bone Crusher, which he might have been shown up earlier, but this is like his introductory mm -hmm. scene where it's him and that other guy walking down the street. Um, and Bone Crusher is like waxing poetic about murder. Yeah, yeah. Well, they were asked specifically by Danny, like, Goose is no longer protected by the, the Ravens. Yeah. I need you to go after him, make him hurt, make that girl of his hurt. Yeah. And Bone Crusher's a fucking psychotic. Yeah. Like, he's like, yeah, he just lost it. He's snorting cocaine. Yeah, or, yeah, snorting something. Yeah, he's just like, ah, I need to, you know, to get at it. You know, you know, my favorite part is about yeah. killing people. It's just watching that life go away from he's your like, eyes. I hate people, man. I hate them. I don't give a shit about nothing. Ah. When you're looking in their eyes and you're seeing all that life just go right out of them, it's power. I hate people, man. I don't care. He's like nihilism incarnate or whatever. He's fucking wild. Um, and I love the other guy's reaction that as he's saying this shit, the camera pans over to the other guy, and the other guy's like, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy, man. All my life, people have fuck with me. Don't you fuck with me, man. I just fucking hate people. But um, they, they go to the apartment. Yeah, and she's inside doing Ouija by herself. Yes. <laughs> Will Goose die today? Which, that's not how that works, man. The whole the whole way it works is you have to have multiple people so that you kind of like, uh, like uh, she's just like, literally, she's like, has both of her she hands on it. She's attuned to the spirit world, Brian. Right, sure. And I love she goes, will, will Goose die today? And it just moves nope. up to no. And then she does it again. And I, why would she ask this question? She goes, will, will I die today? What about me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Like you moved it to okay, great. But, but also, why would she think to ask that for herself? With Danny, I get it because he's going out like yeah. doing one more thing, and she's worried about him or whatever. Yeah. But she's like, "What about me?" I guess it's so I, weird. I, I, <laughs> they show up, and I do like how they are banging on the door and stuff. And clearly, the entire reason that you need the padlock on it is because there is no latching mechanism no. to hold the door no. shut. No, no, it's because again, because it's like a storage yeah, closet exactly. or something. <laughs> It's, it's like it's like falling open and yeah. Oh God. Uh, yeah. And I love the shot on her, the push in on her while while they're like wailing on the door. It's like comical. She's like, <laughs> yeah, amazing. yeah. And so they they get in there and she they, has a gun but doesn't know where the bullets are. <laughs> She has a gun, and she's like, oh, no, where are the bullets? Ah. They are beating her, and she she just, she's dead. Spoiler there. Yeah. Full snakes. Uh, Johnny returns after doing a drug deal with a businessman. Yeah. This, this drug deal is pretty great because it just starts off with Johnny getting jumped. Yes. And then kicking that dude. Did he kick him the nuts? Yeah. You're dangerous. But then, like, this business guy shows up with got glass, everything 80s. Like, yes. the big glasses, he's got the stash, he's, he's doing all this. 
They say, so what, what does somebody like you need these drugs for anyway? It's like, I can push them on kids. I can sell them on the streets. What's it matter to you? <laughs> yeah. Look, I can sell it to kids. I can sell it on the street. What the fuck difference does it make to you anyway? Okay, then. All right, man. Whatever. Um, uh, and I love it. That's a little bit of a, like, the, this movie attempting, like, you know, commentary on, like, the dr- on drugs or whatever. Yeah. Um, but this moment really upset me, Kyle. This moment where he arrives home yeah. and sees his dead girlfriend. Is it, was, it the squ- was it the Foley sound? Well, the Foley sound of the squishy blood is really upsetting because it's just like... <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> but no, it upset me because I was like, oh no, Kyle, this this is my movie. This scene is oh literally <laughs> This scene is literally from Loading Zone, right? Exactly <laughs> from Loading Zone, almost exactly, where he runs in. I would say mine's a little bit more better done, but not much. And he runs in and he and she's laying there and he grabs her and he's like, no, no, it's like shot for shot, moment for moment. <laughs> is an artist. I did have the wherewithal to not put the squishy blood bully in oh mine where God. it's just like but like he, he says like her her intestines were cut out, her face was beaten in. Yeah. I was like that's pretty fucking impressive when they were using a golf club. A golf club, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um and and <laughs> he has a very good dramatic scream here, lots of yeah. angsty yeah. screaming. <laughs> And then this following scene is fucking insane. <laughs> he wraps her in a blanket. Yeah. He's carrying a bloodied blanket, moaning and wailing the whole way yeah. just to really show that he cared. Yeah. He takes her to a trash compactor. Why? And dumps her body in there. Why? And then c- crushes it. <laughs> Why? Why does what he do the that? Fuck? Why does he do that? Why does he not like? I, I don't know. Do the normal? Like I don't understand what she she has like, like a you, family and in, stuff. In this, re- in in the at least the purposes of dead bodies, you can at least call the cops for that. Yeah, especially because he he didn't do anything. Like yeah. he he was not even there. Like I, I don't know. It's I guess like he doesn't want them involved. He's gonna handle the justice himself. It's still fucking psych- psychopathic that he fucking puts her body in a goddamn trash compactor, <laughs> and then we get some great bone crunching oh. sound effect. Oh, it's so fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and that he's just wa- after this, he's just walking through the streets covered in blood. Yeah, and they clearly are filming this for real because there's people in the background yeah, just t- like turning and stuff. Here's the thing. If you're going to do this kind of scene where somebody's walking through a city you don't have a permit for, make them look like if he's covered in blood, people would turn to look at that. Why is that guy covered in blood? Yeah. If you do it for other things where it's just a normal person walking down the street and everybody's turning, well, you kind of fucked up. Yeah. It does work in that regard because he is covered in blood. Like them looking does kind of work. But it is fucking – I was like imagine being those people – like never knowing what that was. <laughs> it's yeah, like some yeah. guy walk. I mean, I guess you would see the camera. They did have the issue though, where it's the, um, the the fake blood dries and then it becomes like really stained, like orange. But that's yeah. just a minor thing. Yeah, but then so he now he needs a new place to stay. So he mm-hmm. shows up at uh, we find out his dad's, dad's house, yeah, apartment. Which again, it, every location gets filthier and filthier. His dad it seems to be diagnosable in some way. He's like schizophrenic, he, absolutely, potentially, like manic depressive or something. Crazy. Yeah, he 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 um, um he he like talks to people that aren't there and, mm-hmm. and he, yeah. No, I ain't got no beer left. It's my last beer. Come on, you buy some more. I don't want to go on the street. 
Unless I get my gun. Uh, and he's like he's like a heroin addict as well, I believe. Uh, uh, so his dad has all sorts of issues going on, um, and is living in like an empty, like dilapidated apartment or whatever, with like nothing in the fridge. It's like maggots, and holes and stuff. in the wall. He's yeah. trying to beat rats because he like yeah he tries to kill rats with baseball bats or whatever. <laughs> And uh, he sleeps there, and this is the, the shot where he wakes up sleeping on that mattress. I was like, oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Uh, this is so sad. I hate this so uh, much. Uh, and there's this moment where he has this interaction with his dad where they're, like, yelling at each other, and his dad's freaking out at him, like, wants money. And this movie is trying something because I do a lot of these, like, cut-in super close wide angle shots of like their faces and mm -hmm. stuff and like again they're trying to go for some sort of interesting yeah, look I mean, and feel and, and it, <clears throat> i will give the i will give uh jim van bieber whatever his yeah. name is i'll give him credit on this he knows how to use a lens to warp perspective when needed yeah 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 they, there's there's some interesting ideas and ways that this is shot that I make it set it apart from your standard yeah. shitty like Action now, granted, that, that doesn't help with the rest of the, no, the film. No, but I will. I'll give him credit on this. It it, it was kind of like watching um, do the right thing, where they use the super wide angle lens when somebody's yeah. getting into somebody's yeah, yeah, face yeah. and something like that. We're very so, clearly inspired by by movies like that. Yeah. Um, very much pulling some inspiration from that. I all I could think though during the scene where they're yelling at at each other I'm was sure, I wanted I'm to sure Jim Baby would be like, uh, this came out a year before Do the Right Thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, but there was other movies doing it. Uh, I love I, all I could think the whole time um, during this yelling interaction between them. I kept waiting for a title card to come on that would say "Time for the Father Son Battle." <laughs> <laughs> I never would have believed it. What? My own son. One of them. Go over to the other side. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, "Wow, this was the precursor to 365 yeah. days." Time for the father-son battle. <laughs> Hurry up, honey! It's time for the fight. Is he okay? Knocked his ass out. Get a bowl of water. Uh, and then he goes to a bar, and it's the most depressing scene in any movie ever. He's mm. just drunk off his ass, trying to hit on some girl, oh, and it's just so sad and depressing. <laughs> Would you just give me a kiss, Cyrus? And he gets into a fight, but then he's like too drunk and stumbles away. Yeah, it's, and he just gets tossed by the guy in the. Uh, it's fucking. And he, it's, yeah, yeah, it's so sad. Uh, Go back on your goddamn. Um, and then he's just beating up random people <laughs> on the street and stealing their booze. Yeah, exactly. Pick you the fucking... Oh, I was watching that. I was like, "Dear God, are we are we are we getting into like good vibra the vibrations movie now?" And he's gonna kill himself. Like at this yeah. moment, he's like hit rock yeah, I bottom. Yeah, I do. I do like how they like they have like what would that be like? And they actually have like a forward shot of yeah. him shooting himself yeah. to glorious effect. By yeah. The way. I'm gonna shoot myself. Blood spatter everywhere. Um, but his buddy from the Ravens shows up at the last <laughs> minute and stops him from killing himself. I gotta talk about the dude who's like across from him. Oh yeah, to shoot himself yeah. Because he's that's like, right. what do you got that gun for? You freaking me out a little bit. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. cool. Right on, man. Yeah, let Go me ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that gun? I'm gonna shoot myself. Oh, all right. Yeah, cool with me. Yeah. All right. But uh but his buddy from the gang shows up and I don't remember this guy's Keith. name. Keith. I, yeah. Oh yeah. He shows up and he gives them the uh the old uh Inigo Montoya treatment. He's dunking them in the yeah, uh, yeah. princess race, right? dunking them and, and sobering them up or whatever. That's enough. That's enough. They need him for one last job. Yeah, they need him for one last job. The, this job will make allow all of them to retire. It'll make them all rich. Make them all rich. It'll make them all insanely fucking rich. Woo! 
it's like a hundred thousand dollars yeah, split, split like, like thirty ways. ways. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there's like a ton of these people. Jeez. It's like it's literally not that much money, uh, especially when you split it between all of them. And uh, but he but he's he's gotta he's, they're gonna do this last job, but they're doing it together with the spiders. And so he's Danny is there. Yeah, and I love. And they that, immediately get into a fight. They get, immediately get into a fight, and somebody hits a goose with a very obvious wiffle ball bat. Like it's he picks <laughs> up a bat and hits him, and it's very clearly a wiffle ball bat. And then Danny's like, all right, I'm cool, I'm cool. And then immediately tries to beat him up again. Shut up, I'm cool, I'm cool. Shut up, I'll tell you about this plan me and Danny's work out here. But they're gonna knock over an armored car. Brian, how much build up do they do to this scene? Oh my God, forever. <laughs> it, the whole rest of the movie is just build up. It's, they're, they're doing build ups, like everybody knows their job. Yeah. And they're still like conflicting. Like now he's getting into a fight with Bone Crusher and stuff. Yeah. So they're all like doing this confliction. Everybody knows your business. Yeah. Let's save it for the thing. Let's save, save it for the thing. <laughs> And then it's like 15 seconds of them stealing an armored car. Yeah, literally 15 seconds. And then it's over. And then it's over. <laughs> I, I do love that in the lead up, one of the scenes is like, Goose, you better not miss. You're the, you're the most important part. You got to hit the one security guard in the face with a throwing star. <laughs> and he, he's like, I don't miss. And he pulls a throwing star out and chucks it at the wall. <laughs> I won't miss. It's like, this is so fucking stupid. I love it so much. Um, also, like, beforehand, they're, like, trying to make, say, chaos and distractions and stuff. And they, they just light a mattress on fire and run out into the middle of the road. Yeah, and they're, like, running through a marching band. And I was like, again, I think they didn't, like, the marching band's like, what are they, who are these people running through yeah. the middle of ours? Um, and then it's just two movies in a row where we've had somebody rappelling down the side of a building. <laughs> yeah. And again, I don't know why he needs to do this. He could have just walked across from the street yeah. and threw this throwing star. But he rappels down well, the... Well, they, they did it with all the subtlety of, like, you can just go up and shoot the guy. Yeah, I don't understand any of the reason for this again it's because it's like a 12 year old it's like it'll be super cool i'll repel off the building and i'll throw a throwing star at him and kill him with a throwing star he has this giant fuck off like throwing star and he <laughs> yeah. throws it at the guard there. Oh! <laughs> they steal everything and now all the money's with danny and the spiders they're gonna meet up with the spiders in their turf yeah to divvy it up yeah which just screams like they're gonna they're clearly this is kill yeah, you. clearly they're gonna kill you but they're all partying at one point after this and yeah. they're like drinking booze and there's just one random girl shaking her boobs at everybody it's so fucking stupid <laughs> but they're going to this big meeting where they're gonna they, they, trans split they, up the money uh, and, they and, did make it a point for keith to be like no weapons nobody's yeah. strapping up we gotta go there in good faith shut up shut up everybody get your shit together it is time Remember, we're going on their turf for business. Nobody packs anything. Nothing. Uh, but he's just strapped up with, like, knives. Yeah, puts knives everywhere. <laughs> he's got kunai and fucking knives and shit everywhere. It's amazing. Um, and again, they're now wearing the masks again. And they get to this big thing, and it's, like, in a sewer. Like, it's in, I don't even know. It, it's, yeah. It's, like, it, this it's, underground it's, tunnel or whatever. And I love, they immediately are just like, all right, fuck them. Yeah, big shocker, betrayal, machine gun everybody. Except for Goose, who just... Goes on a killing spree yeah. now. Fuck you, black boy. Smoke that, motherfucker. Grab <laughs> There's a, the guy just starts spraying with a, a machine. A guy standing up on top of the fucking like a pipe or something just starts spraying with his machine gun. <laughs> and there's like a quick zoom into Goose's face. That's fucking hilarious. And Goose just shoots a dude in the head. Grabs the money and leaves. He just yes. he's just out. Like everybody else dies basically, except a goose just runs off. Uh, he's able to get away with the money. This whole scene is incredible. People just getting shot, and there's like he shoots a guy in the head, and it's like this really not, cheesy effect of yeah. like a bullet hole. I don't know. It does not look great. Whatever. And then Goose jumps off a bridge. Yeah, which that looked pretty impressive. Yeah. (laughs) 
that was like, oh, you shouldn't. That looked dangerous. Very clearly, almost killed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> for this fucking terrible movie. And then <laughs> car keeps going and hits a construction yes! worker. It's amazing, and it's a fucking dummy shot. <laughs> and then just blood splatters everywhere. It's great. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. And then, but but so then the car goes off the 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 ravine or whatever, and and now Goose is in the water, and somehow the guys. The guy- Look, look. Body of who he killed up there is Ryan, now suddenly right next to Goose. Whenever a car of that make and model and age loses, you know, its control of its wheel, it's going to jerk to the right and it's going to find its way down a dam, whatever dam it's on. Yeah, and then immediately back, somehow the body is right next to. I don't understand that <laughs> at all. It makes no sense. Well, anyways, he he gets far enough away that he's like kind of okay to rest for a bit, and then he gives his girlfriend's sister a call. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's like, meet he, me. He I gotta. Gives, First off, don't meet up with strange men who claim to be somebody and say you got to get here immediately to the railroad. Yeah, don't do that. She wants you to have this thing. I've got to give it to you pretty soon. Do you know where the train station is in downtown Dayton? Good. Can can you meet me there in an hour? Yeah. Don't come to. Don't meet some random guy at the railroad tracks. No, don't do that. It's a bad idea. But uh, (laughs) there's also the robbery scene, which is incredible. Yes, Yes. You gotta pay for that up here before you drink it. Like he, just he tries shoots to hold the clerk. Up. No, no, no. He doesn't shoot the clerk. The dude in the car shoots oh, the clerk. Oh, that's right. Because it's like this old lady's grandson. Like, give me your, give me your, uh, oh, your yeah. gun, grandma. And then just starts blasting and hits yeah, the immediately the kills owner. the clerk. Yeah. It's like holy shit. Look, it's a robbery. Give me your gun, grandma. I don't know if he kills him, but yeah, hits the clerk. Yeah, that's right. He pulls out. That's what it is. It's her son. It's insane. It's fucking, this whole scene is wild. I love it so but much. But he, he, he runs, and then he just kind of falls asleep at the train station. Yeah. While he's in the middle of running for his life. And starts hallucinating about his 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 dead girlfriend, like, walking around in the sheet in the cemetery, again, <laughs> trying to be artistic. Over. Yeah. And then Danny's like, I'm going to pop open the skull and, and finger the brain. <laughs> this looks yeah. so weird. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, this is quintessential. Uh, I I'm a film student type of shit where it's yeah, like yeah finger the brain yeah it's like trying to be like edgy and artistic and just is kind of bad <laughs> it's like interesting ideas and unique style mixed with complete incompetence is like all this fucking but movie he is. wakes up big shocker to be surrounded by everybody and then we get into a big fight and uh, yeah uh, he's going to meet uh, yeah she's coming to meet him at the train station or whatever and i love i was like is he just gonna hand her a sack of a hundred thousand yeah. dollars because that's not gonna work out well no. for her that's not gonna no. end well you know those bills are traced right <laughs> yeah uh so then there's a big fight i love he's like yelling he's like key eyes he's like Kia! as he karate chops people and stuff <laughs> and he's like starts wailing on people with nunchucks because he's got his nunchuck and everything <laughs> Um, and I love there's a shot too in this big fight where there's like a train drives by mm-hmm. and the the driver of the it's train like, is like, like what the what is this? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they they get into one part where Bone Crusher gets a giant cardboard box. Yeah, he just hides under it. What? And, and he's like hitting. No, he's hitting him with this big cardboard box. I think it's supposed to be a railroad tie. Oh, okay, well, like like oh. Bone Crusher hides at one point. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. He's like in a little sewer pipe or yeah. whatever. And he just, once he runs by, he just pokes his head up and is like, hello. <laughs> but yeah, he grabs, and I think it's supposed to be a railroad tie, but it is very clearly just a giant cardboard box and he's using it like a weapon and it looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then he chucks a throwing star. Into the, into the forehead, I think a bone crusher mm-hmm. fucking kills him. And then, yeah, it is. Because then he throws him off the roof. <laughs> roof and he lands in the road. And gets, gets run, run over, over and his head flies off. <laughs> it's it's incredible. fucking masterpiece, man. But now he's at the part where he's got to run down Danny because Danny's got the money. He's running. And she just shows up right yeah, on she, top of him. And, and, and run, runs Sally over Sally or Goose. whatever is her name. <laughs> she runs over Goose. Yeah, she hits Goose. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. 
Uh, and then uh, she runs over Goose um, and she punches. Uh, he like grabs her hostage mm-hmm. or whatever, and she punches him in the dick. It's like she went full Seagal. Yeah. <laughs> Full cigar, and then they get into a big knockdown, drag out fight in, in the this alley, alleyway. Yeah. And <laughs> the way it, he bites off, uh, well, he, he stabs yeah. the shit out of um, yeah, Goose. Goose just gets like right yeah. there, just, just over and like over. a million times, and then he bites Goose's finger, finger off. off, and then somehow with mutant powers. Rips out his throat. He, he rips out rips Danny's throat. throat, throat. Out. He rips Danny's fucking throat out. It's amazing. Yeah, he just he just forces his fingers through his neck. <laughs> yeah, and, and then he just takes down this insane, like blood covered bag yes. of cash, and he just gives it to her. He's like, "It's a hundred thousand dollars." Get out of Go. here. Go. It's like, well, yeah, man, that's stolen. She's not going to be able to spin that. Yeah. She's like a little kid. She doesn't know what to, how to fence that. Like, she has no idea yeah, how to do exactly. it. She's like and completely fucked. she knows how fucked. to launder money. Yeah, but then, but this is it. Every student film ever, like every uh, shitty student film ever, everybody dies. Yep. Except for like the innocent young girl who runs away yep. with the money. Johnny uh, just walking the other way down the alley, bleeding to death. Yep, and then he falls out and into the, <laughs> into the curb into the middle of the street and just dies. Yep. <laughs> just dead. Um, and I love there's some people on the bench as he falls, like in the background. This is another one. No, They're what? like, what? And they like actually like, should we help? And they like get up and like start walking towards him. Like, right. I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> Which, you know, you yeah. know, if you're going to do something non-licensed and pe- people are going to turn, give them something to turn to. Yeah, yeah, because they are like, what the fuck is happening here? This is fucking wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's fucking incredible. I l- kind of love this movie. Yes, it's uh, definitely it's good. Definitely bad. good, bad. It's almost just good mm-hmm. um, if it wasn't so, so incompetent. Wild. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's super wild. Some of it is very clearly intentionally comedy. Like the scene at the, the little drive through gas station where mm-hmm. the grandma and the kids shoot the clerk is very clearly yeah, yeah, it's clearly comedy, comedy scene but then like <laughs> the violence is yeah so then the violence the is so over the top it's such a weird mixture the tone is everywhere it has some interesting ideas uh executed just fucking bonkersly um but yeah i kind of love it it's on tubi you can watch it for free on tubi um this guy made a bunch more movies mm-hmm. like so i'm interested to see oh, there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this guy's made some more movies he made one uh not too long after this that's about the um uh, the Sharon Tate murders, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What you call it? Um, Manson family, Manson family murders, which that I'm sure that's fucking wild. We had so much sex. We had every kind of sex you can imagine. We did things you'd never even think of. So yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to more from this, uh, director slash writer. Cause this one was a fucking ton oh, of yeah. fun. I loved it a lot. So thank you to the Patreon, uh, to the patron who recommended yes. this one. Yes. Appreciate it greatly. That's going to do it for this episode. As always, you can do us a giant, huge, magnificent favor by going to patreon.com Patreon. slash GB or BB and supporting us for two, five, fifteen dollars or two, five, ten, whatever it is, uh, dollars and whatever you got, um, would mm-hmm. be great. Uh, you can also, if you don't want to do that, you can support us on uh, going to T Public and you can yes. get t shirts uh, or masks or whatever you would like. We wore the same shirts two episodes yes, in a row. We did. Whoops. We filmed these back to back. Oh, no. <laughs> Ruining the magic. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> they're seeing how the they're seeing how, how the, sausage is made. Sausage is made. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, T Public can get more shirts uh, than we have because we only have these ones, apparently. Yep. Um, uh, masks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a podcast called This Films that we're talking about movies that are based on books. When this one is out, I think the most recent episode will have been Fried Green Tomatoes. I think, which is a great film. I haven't seen it in a long time. I think I watched it in like high school or something for like English class. Mm-hmm. Like we read it and watched it. We did like literally the premise of our podcast <laughs> in, in high school. I haven't seen it since then, but I think I remember it being a good movie. So, um, and it is based on a book. So that'll be the one we're doing next. Uh, you can go check that out. Kyle, you got a Twitch stream. Yes. Oh, Brian, we also got to talk about something. Oh, yeah, we both do. We got to talk about something else too. Your movie. We'll get there. What? <laughs> uh, but yeah, twitch.tv slash GB or BB underscore Brian, GB or BB underscore Kyle, uh, or vice versa. Yes. Brian's underscore GB or BB. I don't um, remember. Whatever. Expect some more streaming, streaming, especially when Hitman 3 comes out. Because yeah. I'm going to be failing at assassinating people. <laughs> I've been playing so much Hades lately. I've played. I've logged like sixty hours of Hades Lord. in like the past two weeks. I, I looked on constantly. I looked on uh, Steam to see how many hours I logged into Hitman Two. Yeah, one hundred and ninety. <laughs> that's a lot for that kind of game. Yeah, like I, you know, it's not a lot for other games. Like I, like my my, I couldn't even begin. I I I looked at Steam for Dota Two back when I used to oh, play Dota God. Two. I had two thousand hours. Jesus. <laughs> 2,000 hours. I probably have a very similar amount on, like, Heroes of the Storm and World of Warcraft. I had 
mm. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's a lot for to Hitman. That's a yeah. that's not a multiplayer game. No. <laughs> well, there there's that aspect you can do multiplayer with. Yeah. It. Anyways, uh, uh, um, Kyle, you got a movie. Big thing. Big thing. Uh, yes, interviewing monsters and Bigfoot. It is out on streaming services. Amazon Prime, right? Available for purchase. I yeah, believe. it is available. Um, for it purchase. is also going to make its way to DVD cells. And some other streaming services in the future. I believe Netflix is down the tube at some point. Yeah. And, oh, uh, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, I am in the film. Kyle makes an appearance. Yes. Uh, he was also uh, AC and a million and other everything, things. Everything. I, I started off as first assistant camera, and then that turned into, well, these people aren't here anymore, so we need you to hold the boom mic and also, like, lighting shit. <laughs> Gaffer, audio technician, <laughs> AC, uh, actor extraordinaire, Kyle. Yeah, exactly. Kyle made this movie happen, uh, and you can see it in the quality. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Uh, go check out Interviewing Monster, Bigfoot and Monsters, Monsters and Bigfoot. Interviewing big interviewing monsters and Bigfoot. I can always get him. I, I see, get I even, now you got me messing it up. I'm sorry. I'm a certified agent of the U.S. government. You can't speak to me like that, all right, kid? Now stay out of my forest. Oh, that's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, keep watching movies. Especially, especially go check out Dead, Dead Beat the Dawn. Dawn. It's fucking nuts. It's insane. You will love every side. We couldn't even possibly begin to do justice to this fucking wild movie. Yeah. It, it's definitely something you have to experience. Yes. So good.